Hi, I'm George, and I'm going to show you how to make a dream Minecraft skin here inside of Skindex. Make sure you subscribe and check out my channel. Now, first thing we need to do is to reset this back to its default setting. I'll go ahead and I'll do that right now. And here we go. That's how things look when you first start Skindex. Now, we need to do a couple things real fast here so we don't get this thing messed up. First, go over here where it says outer layer. Click on that, and you should see this change to have just a clean grid like that. Click it again, get kind of a double grid. So click that, this should be in gray and body should be in white. Now go up here, this is our color chart area, click in here and pull this to the upper right hand corner. It should say all F's down there, pound and then a bunch of F's. Go over here, grab the pencil tool and right in here just do a little squiggly like that with the white pencil tool. Okay, that is the front, that's the front chest area for our skin. So we now know what we're gonna be doing. Reason I did that right away is because we're gonna be rotating our skin like this and you don't want to accidentally switch the back for the front. So you want to know where the front is, and that's right there. Okay, we're all set to go. So do those steps first. Now down here, I'll grab this tool here. This is just the zoom tool. Click on that, we can zoom in. All we care about right now is just that middle section. Over here, right-hand side, these are the different parts of the body. You can hide them by clicking on them like that. Let's just leave just that middle section showing. There it is. And I'll use this to build the skin. Okay. Now the front is gonna be basically white, so I'm just going to come in here and fill this like this with white. Or you can go over here, grab the paint bucket and click in the middle here, that just fills up with white. Okay, back up to our pencil tool. Now click in the middle someplace and drag to the bottom left-hand corner like that. It should have all zeros, that's black. Now click up here and right there, upper left and upper right-hand corners. And then down here, we're gonna go up three. That's one, two, three, right there. At that three point, go straight across and then click one up and one up like that. Now go over here and go back to that white again, or grab the eyedropper, just click in here someplace to set that to white, back to the pencil, and let's just change those back to white again. Okay, that's the main middle part of the body. Let's now put in the two sides. There's our left side and the right side like that. And we'll do our blacks on this first. So left-hand side, let's again go back to our black. I'm gonna grab the eyedropper, click in the black area, set that to black, back to our pencil tool, and on this one, right down here, that square and that square, make both of those black. And then go up here too, like that. So it's over two and up two, and then over one, and then come down one right there. And at the top, up here, I'm gonna go one, two, like that, and then take that straight across above this, and then this will straight down like that. There we go. That's the left-hand side, and we also need the eye, and that's in our grid here, one, two, and three, it's right there. We can now fill this part in with white, back to the eyedropper, click in white, back to our pencil tool, and let's just fill this area in here. There we go. That's the left side. Let's do the right side now. Let's go back to black, again, eyedropper, into black, back to your pencil tool, and on the right-hand side, click on our first square there, and then up and over one, up and over one more like that. Let's go up to the top up here, and click one here, and then over and down one, and then down one like this, and then over again, and then just fill those in. And then for the eye, it's going to be right here. We're at that spot right there. Let's go back to our white. Again, eyedropper, click into the white, back to our pencil, and let's just fill in those white sections. Okay, that's the basic face in here. So a few more little touches we'll do in just a second. But first, let's take care of the lower part. And that's our two legs right here. I'm going to zoom out just a bit so you can see all the legs. There they are. Then I'll scroll down just a little bit. Okay, in here, these are mostly white, but we do have black outlines on this. So let's go back to our black eyedropper and black, and then go straight across the top like that. And then come straight down this side and straight down that side. Now fill the middle section here with white. So back to our eyedropper, back to white. And let's just go ahead and fill this in. I'm painting on both of those legs at the same time here. There we go. Get that all filled in. Just like that. Okay, a few more things we need to do now. Let's bring our head in. There's the head. If you go outside here, see that kind of hand there? You can click and you can move this around a bit like that. And you can see underneath there's the chin area right down here. So we're still on white. So right there, those squares right there, make those in white. Let's now change back here to black and then go right across like that. And this is the chin part just underneath. If I do that, you can kind of see it right there. That's the chin part right there. While we're here, let's just do a row of black straight across the bottom like that. Normally you don't see that, but if you roll up, you can see that little line right there. 
Okay, that takes care of the white part and the black part of the face. Now we need to fill in everything else with that green. And the green I'm gonna be using is straight over here. See there's this big green area right there. Find the middle part of that and click right on the middle part of that. And then over here, left hand side, it's kind of dark and then it goes light right there where it just changes. Click right there and that's a good green to use. Make sure you're clear to the left hand side. That's going to be about as bright of a green as you can get right in there somewhere. All right, now let's grab our paint bucket and let's click into a side like this and then click into that side. Go out here, grab the hand and move it around. Don't click into the sides around the face. It's going to fill that whole side in if you do. So leave that one alone. We can click in this side here and that side. Let's pull it around. This is the back. I can click in each part of this. Let's pull it around this way, and I can click into these parts in here. Let's now rotate it a little bit, see the top? You know, let's get the top in there, there we go. And spin it around, and it's spin it underneath. We've got the bottom part, and that's here, there, and leave that bottom section alone right down there. Let's now switch back to the pencil tool, and it's fill in those spots that we left before. That's right across here, and straight down, there we go, and over. And let's get this side over here. And kind of fill in that area so just draw each one of those little squares by itself fill that in pull down towards the bottom let's get the rest of the bottom right down here there we go like that and let's pull around a little bit right down here we can get that pretty quickly there we go okay now we need to take care of the hidden stuff and for that just hide the body first and inside here we can come in and fill this in now i've seen some people have filled this in with white some fill it in with green i'm just going to use green like that and let's go here I can get that there it is and then the top of the two legs it's right in here fill that in there we go click outside and drag it around and let's get this side in just like that just go back and forth and fill this in and if you go over something then just go back and then repaint that in again using the other tools that's fine using the other colors let's say I did that by accident Easy to fix. Just go back to the eyedropper, grab white, back to your pencil tool, and then tap in there to fix that. And then back to the green again. Get spin it around. We have this area here. Let's fix that. There we go. All right, let's now hide one of the legs. And let's get the inside of the leg over here. Again, we're still using that green. Let's just fill that in right there. There we go. Get that done. And let's change legs and spin it around this side. And let's fill in this side here. And I think at that point we have everything filled. There we go. Okay, put that leg back on again. Put the middle back in again. And there it is. There's your basic dream skin right there. Okay, one last little piece to do. Go back here to the eyedropper. Grab the black and the pencil tool. And then right across just the bottom row, right across the face right there. Okay, we now need to get this out of skin decks and over into the game. Easy to do. First off, if you have an account with Skindex, you can sign in right here and then come down here and use this to save this into your account and put it up onto Skindex. You don't have to do that. It's just a good thing if you're working inside of Skindex. Then to get this onto your computer, go down here where it says download, click on that, and then save this to a location on your hard drive. Now I made a folder here, I just called it skins. I put it on my C drive right here. I'm just going to rename this one. I'll call it dream-1 because I want to go back in and do another one in the future. Choose save. I've now saved that to my computer. Now that you've done that, you can put this into the game. There are two ways to do this. The first way is to go over to minecraft.net if you have an account over there. Let me show you that. I'll just bring that up. So into minecraft.net and then log into your account and go into the skin section right there. Okay, scroll down. You'll see your current skin down here. There's my spacesuit look and then select a file and we'll be uploading the file we just downloaded from skin deck so we'll go ahead and we'll do that there it is there's the skins there's my skin file i just made choose open and that brings that up like that notice that i'm still using my original skin down here so click on upload and then makes that the current skin okay that's now what's showing inside the game okay the other way to do this is to do it right through the launcher let me bring the launcher up and i'll show you that way here's the launcher go up to skins right there Notice that we're in that look already because we just changed it over inside of Minecraft.net. I'm going to go over here to my normal look, which is that one. So if you're in the launcher, click on New Skin. Click on Browse right here. And then find your new skin. The same one that we just downloaded from Skindex right there. Choose Open. There it is. Give it a name up here. I'll just call this one Dream. And then choose Save and Use. 
and that's now the skin that we'll be using inside of the game. Notice it's also been saved over here into the library. If you want to see more videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Check out my channel for a bunch more Minecraft videos, and I'll see you next time.